wanted to do a little mommy haul because it is self-care Friday today, which self-care Friday, if you don't know, is something that my BFF Andrea started. She's spiritual girl millionaire on Instagram. And I waited too long to hop on the the self-care Friday wagon. I know I'm getting a bunch of glare from my glasses, you guys, but I woke up this morning and I just wanted to get out and walk and I wanted to treat myself a little bit. As you guys know, I am nine months pregnant, so I have been buying boy clothes. I have been on bed rest for 15 weeks and I wanted to do a little something for myself, so I went shopping. I went to Sephora, Pink, and um, Forever 21 and I got some great things that I wanted to share with you guys and some of these things will are focused on um, postpartum love for mama because I know I'm not gonna fit into my pre-pregnancy clothes I know I'm sick of my maternity clothes and actually I have only got I only have a few maternity things because being on bed rest I really spent a lot of time in um, comfy clothes like what I'm wearing today and I haven't needed a lot of clothes for maternity so anyways let's get into the haul the first thing I got and want to show you guys was my coming home outfit for the hospital now some of you might think that's silly um that I bought a coming home outfit for myself but we plan for our babies to come home in an outfit and I also wanted to have something that would be comfortable easy to put on whether you know I have vaginal delivery or c-section plan for a vaginal but you never know what could happen and then also um something that's easy to nurse in because I will be breastfeeding that's my plan. So I went to Victoria's Secret Pink and they had this zip up hoodie and I got it in. I usually would like post pre-pregnancy I would have worn an extra small or small but I got a medium in this zip up and it's black gray and white and um, I have nursing tank top so I just figured it'd be really nice to have my nursing tank top slip on this um, hoodie and it's kind of lighter material so if it's still a little bit warm it won't like I won't overheat but just have something to cover up in that's easy zip it open and then I got these um, varsity pant pink sweatpants well they're black but they're the pink brand obviously and they're they're a small I debated on getting a medium but I usually wear extra small pre-pregnancy so hopefully the small works out but they just look really comfortable, kind of lighter too. So that's my coming home outfit. And then I said, like I said, I have nursing tank tops and nursing bras that I could just have underneath. From Sephora, I got another, if you guys saw my ride or die um, tag, I, I went the next day after filming that and got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette because like I said, um, gilded ganache, semi-sweet, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. They are my staple eye makeup look shadows. I've tried to find dupes. I've tried to find something that's just as good, and I can't, so I invested in that. Again, I got three of these Sephora masks, which, I don't know, these were really affordable, so I wanted to try them. I got a anti-aging, I got a moisturizing and smoothing, I got the ultra moisturizing and brightening. I'm all about moisturizing for some reason. And then I wanted to try the Shiseido smooth, um, smoothing skincare line because I've heard amazing things from a friend about this. And I was just going to get the cleansing foam and the moisturizer. But then I saw this little kit and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to, you get a little bit less product in these, but I why not try the whole line and then I got one other thing I think it's hiding under all of my preferred 21 stuff it's the Becca highlighter um, duo so it's got champagne pop and uh, champagne pop and nope this is Prosecco Pop and Peplum Mousse. 
which I think will work good for me. I was thinking I got champagne pop, but it didn't. Oh well, moving on. At Forever 21, I got, this is boring, but ponytails, but I needed them. And I'd gone to Target for them three times and I forgot them three times. I got a choker because this is trendy and I wanted one as well. And it was $2.90. So that's how I feel about jewelry is if it's trendy, it's got to be cheap. So Forever 21, I got things based on postpartum thinking. Thinking about what can I wear that I'll be comfortable in and happy in post baby. Uh, you guys have seen my Target maternity jeans. They don't have a full panel. They just have like the sides, the side, stretchy sides. They look like a boyfriend cut jeans. I feel like I'll be wearing those a lot this fall and then also um, a pair of boyfriend jeans that I got from Express because they're a little bit bigger and they should fit me. So I was like, you know, what can you kind of pair with that? Still be comfortable or pair with leggings and still look like you put yourself together. But also, I'm going to be splurging and investing <laughs> in some Stuart Weitzman thigh highs boots. And I've wanted these for years. I've waited for like a knockoff to even look anything remotely like Stuart Weitzman's, and I can't. So I decided this year is going to be the year I invest and I treat myself to a pair of Stuart Weitzman's. So I went of thinking kind of some Pinterest outfits that I've seen with paired with Stuart Weitzman's and one was a sweater dress and it was so cute you guys so cute because it was a long sleeve sweater dress and you saw about that much of the girl's thigh because the boot came up and then the edge of the dress was right there so so cute be perfect for like a fall gathering I don't know and I also live in North Dakota, so it, is it going to be a little bit inappropriate for North Dakota to wear thigh highs? Maybe, but I think Stuart Weitzman's are different than like hookerish thigh highs. But I found these dresses at Forever 21. The material seems great. I know with Forever 21, it's kind of like, is it going to wash and look like crap or whatever? But they, these were $17.90 and I got a small and a medium um, I, I think the medium, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to fit because I obviously couldn't try them on now because I've got a big old belly in front of me, but I usually wear a small or extra small. So just planning for a postpartum belly, I went with small and medium. And this is a beautiful Merlot wine color, long sleeve, and then it's a sweater dress. So it's super long. Cannot wait to pair that with those boots. And I also got this, like, camel color, which this is the medium. And I think this might be too big, you know, come the end of winter. But I just want some things to wear that'll be comfortable. I got this gray t-shirt that's very lightweight, very soft. It's longer in the back and then the front so perfect with leggings pair with a scarf and some boots and you got a perfect um basic basic b outfit <laughs> and it was twelve dollars and ninety cents i also got uh <laughs> the guy who was the register at the register when i he was adding up my total i keep wanting to say the guy who was checking me out but you guys i'm nine months pregnant he wasn't like checking me out he was adding up my items and um, he's like, you got a lot of the same things in different colors. And I was like, oh honey, wait till you're married or you got a good, you know, stable relationship. You'll know that's how we roll. Right, ladies? And I got these t-shirts. And I got them in variations of smalls and extra smalls because they're very long and they just look like a basic t-shirt. They're very soft. Seems like good, you know, decent quality material. And they have the fold in the sleeve and they're really really long so I don't know what they'll look like on a postpartum body but I have a feeling they'll cover up the tush nice and they're soft and even if they end up being like my sleep shirts why not I also got this army green color 
and I got this black color and then the last thing that I got these were $12.90 did I say that I don't know and then the last t-shirt that I got um, is just this black stripe army green um, wider t-shirt this one is not as long as the other items so this will look so cute with boyfriend jeans and boot boyfriend jeans and booties um and then this one was ten dollars and ninety cents they had another color but it was coral and i always buy like pastel things but i never wear them but with how soft this is this one feels like heaven i have a feeling i'm going to you guys are going to be seeing me wear this all the time so and then I also got myself a little treat at Forever 21. Why these Sour Punch Strawberry Watermelon Candies sound good to me? I don't know, but I'm pregnant. And so that'll be my little treat for this weekend to snack on. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry I look like a hot mess, but I wanted to get these things washed and put away and use some of it. So I wanted to film this as soon as possible. And thumbs up for Self Care Friday. Always remember, ladies, whether you're a business owner like I am, a mom, a wife, all of the above, you have a career, remember to fill up your own cup. You know, like, I haven't bought some things for myself in months. Months. Pretty much all year because I've been focused on pregnancy, I've been focused on recovery, I've been focusing on baby boy. And it's okay to invest in yourself. And it doesn't have to mean like spending money on yourself. Even if you're like, I'm going to go on a walk by myself. Or I'm going to go to a coffee shop by myself and just be on the computer or watch YouTube videos. Do something for you. Because if you're taking care of yourself, you can better serve the people that you love, the people you adore, your family, your employ, you know, your em wherever you work, what you do for a living will always benefit from you taking care of yourself and that could even mean just going over to a girlfriend's house and bringing a bottle of wine with you and chatting just take care of yourself and i know a lot of you are thinking joelle that's easier said than done wait until you have that baby because you'll see but it could be i mean i admire my friend lauren ricks who i'll also leave her Facebook page is sometimes like when her newborn is napping and her husband ho is home she's like I'm gonna go sit on the deck with a cup of coffee and a book and I'm just gonna read and you've got it hubby and she she did that and I'm so proud of her for that and she's got a tiny little newborn that's breastfeeding but she still even just takes like five ten minutes to care for herself and she's an awesome amazing mom and i'm very proud of her and look up to her a lot for doing something like that even with a newborn so give back to yourself self-care friday check out andrea check out lauren and i'll see you guys in my next video